Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 8 of season 3 of Laid Back Camps. It's going to get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I'm ready to see the conclusion of the story of <laughs> Ali Aki. Oh my god. A giraffe. <laughs> yeah. Can Kirby survive food porn? Um. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, pizza. I bet. I'd be super scared, though. Right, right, right. Well, hopefully she gets her soon. Yeah, it would. Hmm? Awesome. <laughs> Kirby. So that's how they made pizza, yeah.
I mean, you could have got both. Psh, shut up. <laughs> that it is. There are other ways. I still do have that for leftover pizza. Maybe I'll eat that tomorrow for dinner. Right? I mean, I thought she would wait until, like, midnight to, like, drink, but nah, she ready to go. That looks really good. It is a long name. Mm, that look good. The way, oh my god, the fact, like me, I am in love, in love, in love, in love with like soaking or drunken tomatoes or drunken just anything, vegetables that are just soaked. So good, it's a weakness. <laughs> oh, that looks so good.
<laughs> Pizza! That long away to dream, oh my god. Yaki Soba Pizza? Ooh. Mm. Yeah, but it still looks good. I would eat it. I'm hungry now. <laughs> Doesn't mo most alcohol do that? I mean, get, as an adult. Remember, I don't drink all the time. Only on special occasions. and really, really need it. But, yeah. Alcohol doesn't get cold. Doesn't, I mean, alcohol doesn't freeze. Right? Is she fine? <laughs> ooh. That looks ooh, yummy. But you still want a pizza? <laughs> You can still have pizza. Add your, mm hmm. Okay. Oh. And ta-da! Damn, that look good. Mm. Never thought to have me or a pizza. See, once again, the teacher, me when I'm drunk. Because I'm like, I'm several things. Hungry, the other H word. And very flirty sometimes. Oh, Kirby! Excuse me.
see, when you drink, you have the munchies, too. You just want everything. <laughs> Depends. Why don't you have your sense to eat first? Oh, it's good. <laughs> You're right. You're gonna rip it! Well, and that's how the episode ends. I love it. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Well, I mean, I'm glad you guys had a fun time. The food porn was, you know, 10 out of 10. Definitely would recommend. I mean, damn, you made me hungry. Even though I technically ate, like, three, four hours ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh, curve.
that was so cute. Okay, so I love the fact at the end, you know, the dog is just like, since there really is nothing else for me to say, please like and subscribe, you know, turn on that bell for the notifications and such. Yeah, it's just like the typical YouTuber and such. But no, like seriously, the food that they made was really good. The pizza. Seriously, once again, the last thing I ate, because I was watching a movie with my mom, um, I had some, like, a type of Korean spicy uh, chili noodles, which, yummy, love me, just 10 out of 10, yes, good behind spicy noodles, because I love the crap out of spicy food, um, but no, everything that they made in this, I would dash try, as someone who loves the crap out of, you know, drunken onions, tomatoes, anything, like, it, it's something about it is just really, really good. I love the fact when you are, like, you have something that is soft instead of raw and it's cooked and everything. Like, I love me some raw onions and everything and a raw, like, um, tomato and such, but when they're cooked, when they're steamed and submerged and something, oh. Good. Never would have thought to put asparagus on a pizza. I I'm learning new things, and I like that. <gasps> so pretty. Once again. Go. <laughs> now something kind of tells me with next week's episode, we might get like a half and half. So one kind of getting, you know, that Ren Solo-ness that we haven't seen in like a little bit, which I love. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I love when the girls are all together and they all get to hang out. But like, it's something about since we really started this series with Rin and Rin is the most experienced out of all of them and such and getting episodes when Rin is really at her best and she's like doing and focusing on her own I, I love those like I love hell I love any time when any other girls want to like be like yeah I want to go on a solo trip and such I I am hoping technically at least before this season is over like at least one more um Kirby solo trip even though something tells me I don't think that's going to happen because we're on episode 8, about to be on episode 9 next week. But, yeah, I think we're definitely going to get, like, the first half, solo, Ren. Second half, camping trip, Terry Blossom-ish. Possibly with their sensei. So, you know, hey, cheers to sensei getting drunk next week again, which I'm going to love because regardless and such. But it also, like... What I still want and what I still enjoyed about the movie, you know, was seeing our girls around majority of our ages and such. Dead ass, like either season four, season five, season six, whatever you want to do. I need them kind of, I'm ready to see these girls aged up. Where I think for these girls, like they're really probably close to being out of high school, right? So go ahead and do it. But that's really up to them. I mean, manga-wise, like, I don't know where they are and such. So I would love to see it. I would love to see my babies once again grown up because as much as I love them at the age that they are now, I mean, seeing them 
having established careers, even though for um, Aki, like, hers really wasn't the greatest and such, and again, she quit her job and everything, but she found something else. I, I loved seeing the struggle that they had. It, it's very much the situation that we're all in as adults and such, and you can relate to that very much a lot. And that's what I really love about adult animes and stuff going into, like, yeah, like, don't get me wrong, love me some good-ass slice of life, because, yes, it's good-ish. But I love when you get, like, a slice of life with, like, adults doing romance or just, you know, going to work every day and be like, God, I really don't want to be around these people today. I want to go to fuck home. Uh, I want to lay in my fucking bed all freaking day and I want to play my game. Me. <laughs> but other than that, guys... That is my reaction to towards episode 8 of season 3 of Laid Back Camp. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 9. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.